Oh, this but, one's pretty easy. But yeah, no, like, uh, where did we go wrong? The original, like... Oh, damn it. The, no. the original, uh... Come on, give me something. Like, high heels were worn by butchers, so they wouldn't get blood on their, like, on the bottom of their pants. Where did we go know. wrong? It's pretty common in at least American history, if not world history, that utility, uh, like, utility fashion, things that are designed for specific purchase, just somehow become eye-catching fashion, especially for women, especially, like, boots. Like, I need these sure so that I can... I need these so that I can not get blood on the bottom of my shoe. I mean, but form follows can... function, but only up to a certain point as far as fashion goes. Yeah. Okay, Vlad, there, there is one example of the Timberland high heels. And that's one of the less ridiculous ones. There's like what stiletto the Timberland high heels. Okay, why but, people, but why? Why are people like this? I don't know. The, the ones I saw in person weren't like this. It was like a solid... Uh, like wedge, you know, it's one big piece of sole, and the bottom looks like on the heel it actually had the Timberland texture. It wasn't like this where it was split, but I'm looking at these stiletto Timberlands. It's, what the uh, no, no, it's no. Who asked for this? Literally nobody asked for this. Who, whoever, who, who designed these? Are they still alive? Can I find? I'm gonna go find them. I mean, someone asked for arsenic, and that was a mistake. I just, I just want to talk. I just want to talk to him. I just, I just want to talk to whoever made this travesty. This fucking. I just want to talk to him. I want to talk to whoever, whoever made this, this bastardization of God's law. Oh, here, here's another one. Here's a better, better image of these. Someone's actually wearing them this time. Unless that's it's like a mannequin. Oh. I hope it's a mannequin. I hope. I mean, only I've a met mannequin the kind of. That's stupid. I've, I've met the kind of human being who will wear these. Are they, like, the trashy white girls? Yeah, but she wasn't a girl. She was, like, in her 50s, and she might have been fucking my ex-boyfriend. Mm. Oh, mm. and she's married. Her husband what I'm understanding is thoughts. Yeah, thought. Very thought. Mega thought. Like, she wants to be a cougar, but she's just thought. Anyway. Mm. You sound like this shit. Timberlands. That sounds like a hoe to me. She belonged to the streets. Like, that's so weird in a place between- I'm looking at it, it's like, it's so weirdly placed between work boots and high heels. That's not even a work boot. I mean, it, it's, it's like a, a fashion high heel boot, if anything. Trying to cosplay as a work oh, boot. Oh no! So I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure Tim's aren't fucking work boots, I'm pretty sure they're fashion boots designed to look like work boots. Oh, I think really? that's actually oh. how they're- They think used- they're, they used to be work boots because they had like the the steel toe and whatnot. They used to be actually really good work boots, but then every black person just went, "Oh, I need these to make myself look clean as fuck," and then it just cut on. Hmm. It's a weird thing of like the of like of Buddy, black culture. You're missing a front row fucking piranha plant. <laughs> it's a weird thing of of black culture. No, the uh, one that I don't understand. Second from the bottom. Front row. Oh, got him. But to be perfectly honest, like, thank God, <laughs> I do enjoy Timberlands. Timberlands look cool. I need to replace my steel-toed boots. Yeah, good idea. Wait, good what? point. More steel-toed boots. My old ones, the soles fell apart. Understandable. Oh, no. Hey, Jesse. I'm it. Do you think I can exist in Agriculture USA without steel-toed boots? Um, <laughs> it's possible. Trick question. I can't exist at all. I'm a myth. <laughs> that was a bad question. You should feel bad. Uh, you Are should you feel kidding? bad and get better. I'm not gonna- uh... I'm not gonna prove myself for your shitty comedy. Mm -hmm. I am a shitty comedy. We'll settle this outside later. Flag pull 10 o'clock. Light up shoes. Light up shoes are for children. But light up, yeah. light up, light up sketchers are still baller AF. They're baller, but right, there's an age limit. Nobody, my girl, when she sees my light up sketchers. 
<laughs> no. Would you? Would they take your Lightning McQueen Skechers? Sweetheart, if you show up in light up tennis shoes, we're gonna Dude. have an issue on where you can. Solar, I will pay night. you. I will pay you a nondescript amount of money. It's nondescript. It could be a lot of money. Okay. All you're giving me are the purple plant plants. I need the fucking planters. Wow. Okay, consider this. Vlad could give you a nondescript amount of money to show up at my house in those stupid shoes. Or you could be allowed to sleep in a bed like a person. I mean, nondescript amount of money could also pay for a hotel room that night. <laughs> it could. The hotels are cheap here. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put him in like a motel that was gonna give him bed bugs though. Oh, I mean, that kind of guy. Mm, yeah. Oh my I have, god! I have actually had an experience where, Daddy? like, not me, but my younger sister, when we stayed at a motel, she got bit by a bed bug, and my mom literally grabbed the thing, took it to the front counter, and smashed it onto the desk and said, you told us there were no bed bugs here. And the owner of the motel just went, I don't like you very much, and tried to clean it up off of the counter. So ah. she loaded it up and drove us to the, to the Super 8 down the street. Yeah, I was gonna oh. say, like, the Super 8's the best one here, and like, I'm not saying the hotels here are cheap because they're bad. Like, they're, like, cheap, cheap. I mean, just... God damn it. Cost but of they're living like, is yeah, low they're, here. Yeah, the cost Everything is, the cost is, is low. The cost is low. What is this, an onion? Like, yes. What does the onion do? Oh, it I makes don't know what that does, No, it makes your breath bad. <laughs> I mean, it might make your breath bad, but it's fucking delicious. It is. It Same is. It is garlic. Yeah. Yo, you ever put in like you put in some onion other while you're cooking okay. fish? You want to know what's really fucking tempting? Mm. Eating mm. roasted garlic. Yes. Because sometimes I'll use garlic whenever I cook, and I'll fucking you know I'll have it in the pan and all that shit, and then like I'll have a couple cloves or like a couple pieces left. I'm like, I really just want to fucking eat these because they're so goddamn delicious. But then I know that my breath is going to smell like garlic for like the next three days. Oh, yeah. And this as, isn't... as fucking good a smell as garlic is, having it for three days, you get sick of it. This isn't funny. That is that is very sadly true. Solar, uh, these aren't I funny anymore. Know. Here's the thing, though. When I smell like garlic it. on someone else's breath, I don't find it to be a bad smell anymore. I find myself getting jealous that they ate something that tasted like delicious garlic. What the <laughs> fuck? Solar. The PS5 design is just trying to make Connor from from Detroit. <laughs> from just Detroit. There. Not Detroit become human. Just, just Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> just Detroit. Hang on. <laughs> don't don't you worry. I have I have an equal response worry. to this. Right. It's gonna blow your fucking mind. You ready? Because everybody's <laughs> making the JoJo comparison. Yeah, but they're not really making the obvious one, which is... Is it, is it Seto Kaiba? No. It's even better. Ooh, I am excited. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh my god, no, that's bad. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> it's inherently cursed. That is cursed. But it's so good. This is this is some crunchy material. That's hell. This is hell. This is hell. <laughs> Captured in an image. Mamma mia, this shit crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> You're really whipping out Sethical right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, no, no, bonus ass whooping be special two okay, for one. Setting up another level. Yeah, no, I fucking I love Sethical's fucking shit. Hey, right, so um. Let's see. Hey, buddy, look at me. Izanagi. Shit. <laughs> Kamui. Shit. <laughs> Baku's literally the most powerful anime character. Except for that time where he got murked by those two cops. <laughs> Izanagi. Fuck out of here. Out of you, B. Damn. He got me. Try that anime shit again, dumbass. <laughs> okay, let's see, uh... Yo, take these sunglasses, we getting out of here. Wait, I obliterated y'all bitches. I don't know about that one, Chief. Mm. Bullshit, Wait, this is bullshit. Subjugation. Okay. 
Seth Cole's perfect. He's a perfect content creator. <laughs> so what does the minion do? It makes them go into other lanes, basically. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Cool. He requires Sethical requires money to make like a full Baku movie. Give me one more son. Thank you. For the for the like the, the, the Baku verse. For the for the crowdfunding for it, he just he should just have Hank Hill. Yo, you need to come. You need guys need to help us out with some of that bread. <laughs> I got money on top of Skrill and Bank. But if you think I'm paying bills, mm. <laughs> swear on your Tims. I don't got Tims. I'm got Yeezy. Swear on my fucking life and my Yeezys. That goes so good. I know you are not pulling that bullshit on my iPhone five. You guys I are pay for this pizza language. and watch <laughs> yeah, it's delivered are. bone in. It's that that's a wrap for y'all. <laughs> the absolute. That reminds me. One more son. One more son. One more son. Mom and me made it. Mom and me made some hot, uh, some uh, chicken uh, like the uh, hot wings that you get in like um, like in uh, Wingstop and all that. We made our own variation of them. Wings are so good. They are. My Yo. mom has done it with actual garlic parmesan. She she cut up some garlic, made it, cook, cooked it up, add some legit parmesan onto it. Oh, it's so good. It was good stuff. Smelt oh, yeah. too. Got <laughs> it. There's this homemade chicken noodle soup my mother makes. And she starts out with butter, not spray, fucking butter, in a pan with oh, onions and garlic. The, that's the best recipe. Yeah, butter, butter. onions, Start and garlic, butter, and that sautés. And those make a specific smell that that smell probably makes me happier than any other scent I know. What scent? So what I'm understanding is rub it on butter my and then sauté onions and celery in it. Hmm. It does sound good. That's that's just the starter smell. Would you drop? Uh, baby. Of course, you make the chicken. Take the baby. chicken out. Put other veggies and stuff. Chop the chicken. Then you make the soup. But that's the okay? smell. Baby flamingo learning to do the thing. Is key frame okay? Yeah. Is key frame. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. I posted a cute thing in stream chat. Baby Flamingo learning to do the thing. He's doing Aww. the thing. I do. Oh, speaking of things that are also cute, my daughter made cup uh, made cookies with my mom. Aww. Today. I was like, aww, they made chocolate chip cookies. Yay! I, I replaced my flour. I need to make cookies. I would put a second kernel pulp oh down, my, my friend. What? Oh, I see the flamingo. Oh my god. I know. Flamingo I've yeah. raised so many birds, not flamingos, but so many birds, <clears throat> and when they do this shit, it's precious. The baby flamingo has learned to do the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty well, funny. You, you've not lived until you've seen baby turkeys just fluff up and try to gobble. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. <laughs> you think you're intimidating, but you're four inches tall. Come that, on, Rock. <laughs> Alternatively, you could get a you could get lizards and watch them do the arm wave. <gasps> Wait, what's the what the hell? Hell? lizards? What the it, hell? It, 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 somewhere in the future, okay. it's the lizards. You know, what the lizards noise in the you background. should get as Who, like a wreck. Who's no. getting slammed into concrete in the background? I don't, I don't Jeez. know. Someone breaking up frozen vegetables? That's <laughs> possible. Is Keyframe breaking up frozen vegetables for a great Italian treat? I mean, that's that's what I do to break them up, or when I need to break up bagged ice. Yeah, yeah you just yeah. beat you just beat it to high hell. Yeah, whenever yeah, you need to just you whenever you need to break up bagged ice, you just start <laughs> fucking. You just Mutilated. throw it on the ground a whole bunch of times. I mean, I don't constantly throw it on the drop. Ah! Alternatively, you could just start punching it, so that's also a thing. 
Also, like, yeah, the fucking the uh, the basketball lobber ones that you can fucking snipe your plants. All right. Oh, uh, does oh the cherry God. bomb work? Um, I believe so. All it's right. using your technology against you. Okay. You will get a plant. I think actually it shows up after this one, but you get a plant that helps you deal with them because oh. it'll fucking. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That, well, that was a you waste got... of source. Not oh, really. It. You got one guy. <laughs> All right. Mission, oh. fa mission failed successfully. <laughs> <laughs> mission failed. failed. We'll get him next time. Mission <laughs> failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Insert yeah, dramatic like, music. Like, I love that. Hey, come on. I love that. You know what I can't wait for in the new rebooted like Modern Warfare universe? The Modern Warfare Cats. universe. I can't wait to watch Soap die by falling out of a tower again. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch Ghost die again. You have weird hobbies. I remember all the memes that were coming out of like the remastered uh, Modern Warfare 2. They were like, like uh, Shepard shoots Ghost like eight times instead of the one shot. <laughs> they pour more gasoline on you this time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just like, dear God, if that's true, that's just, that's just, like, a blink. It, it, it's fucking, it. wait, is, is the remastered Modern Warfare 2 out yet? Yes. Oh. Nice. Like, I remember the remastered Modern Warfare, and I remember there's a whole bunch of hype coming out, and then they, like, stealth release Modern Warfare 2, where I don't remember a fucking thing about it. Apparently, apparently it's already here. <laughs> Apparently they've been making a lot of, there's been a lot of buzz uh, for Steam that they're going to be shadow dropping uh, Persona 3, like Persona 4 Golden on the, on Steam. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Isn't that I, what it, they did with fucking Bayonetta? They like... Yes. They, yeah. they, shadow, they shadow dropped it, but it's not exactly shadow dropping it if everybody's expecting it, but we'll find out tomorrow. Or I'm today, for, technically. I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping it's true because then I can finally get the game and play it. Oh, if it is true, well, you you already know I'm gonna buy it. I'm a I'm a I'm oh. gonna get the strap. I'm gonna get the strap. Me same. I I I love Persona Four. That's actually one of my favorite among the Persona games. You okay, Drogo? Drogo, you're panting for no reason. What's up? You okay? Buddy? Yeah, my Chihuahua. Is he warm? Is the puppy hot? Feels a little warm, but it's like 72 degrees. Like it's down to 72 degrees in my like room. Is he excited? Oh, He's been running around. Yeah, probably. He's been running around on the bed. You're just excited, buddy. Aww, good, boy. Puppy. good boy. I got puppy. to hang out with my parents' dog today, who is so massive, she outgrew her collar. Oh, no! <laughs> she outgrew the largest collar size. Oh, no! That's they need to, like, go get her a belt or something now. Oh, no! What breed of dog is she? She's an English Mastiff. Okay, that That's makes sense. That makes so, yeah. you know the dogs from the Sandlot? It's those. Yes, yep. that dog is huge. Those breed of dogs are fucking giant. Big woofer. Big woofer. She Big weighs 180 meat. pounds. She weighs more than some of my co-workers. That's that how you can tell it's a real dog. Yeah, they are yes. freaking massive. Son of a bitch. You know my favorite piece of like like lore for like large dogs is? The Tibetan Mastiff, like its companion dog, the smaller one. In the, like, monasteries, they would have the small dog, like, doing sentry duty, and if somebody tried to break into the monasteries, the smaller dog would go off and get the monastery's Tibetan Mastiff and bring it back with it. 